Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I know I might look a little weird right now because I don't have my eyes, lips, or highlighter on because we are trying out the March Ipsy bag. And Ipsy is a monthly subscription and it comes with different cosmetics, brushes, and stuff like that. Um, and there's five products and it's only $10. This is not a sponsored video, no, but I just thought I would try it out on camera because it came in the mail today, so I thought I would get on this and jump on it. I already know what's in here, so I could try it on my face and see how they go. I have not swatched anything in here. I just know what's in there, so let's get started. By the way, I know it's been past a week since I posted my last video, but that's because I, if you have not been following up with my videos, I did have an accident the day before Thanksgiving in 2017. So it's been more than a few months um, and I'm still getting over it. I actually did get more stitches um, last Monday, which was the 12th and today is the 14th. So today is Wednesday. So that's why I haven't posted any more videos, but I'm going to hopefully be posting two this week to make up for it because I was late. So please forgive me. So this is this month's back for March. And it's really cute. I like how it has all the different styles of hair and you know skin colors and stuff like that for different women, I guess. Also, it's really cute. So we have a highlighter from Winky Lux, which I have not heard of this brand, but um, I really like the packaging. It came in a little cute box. I already took it off. Um, and this is in Charm, I guess. It's a holographic highlighter. This is what it looks like. You can't really tell. It doesn't really look like anything. It doesn't even look like a highlighter. It just looks like powder, so we'll see how it swatches. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this. Feels pretty nice. Let's see here. Okay, it's a little chunky looking and a little powdery. I don't even know if you can really see it on my hand. It's right there, but it has like a pink reflection going on, like the holographic part. Yeah, that was okay. It's not my favorite, so we'll see how it swatches on the face later on. Next, we have um, this brush. Oh yeah, this is it's pretty. <laughs> it's a lot for a brush, oh my gosh. Honestly, I don't really use fan brushes. I feel like they just, I don't know, they don't, they're just not needed for me. <laughs> like I'd rather use something else for highlight and stuff. I did see though that Jaclyn Hill said that she learned, I can't remember where it was, from someone to use this for blush instead with a fan brush, which I think is really weird. I have not tried it and I don't know if I will try it, but yeah. We're gonna use this with the highlight we use today. And this is from the brand Moda, M-O-D-A. Mata, Moda, R and L, and has a little crown above it. The packaging is kind of cute. I don't have anything like super colorful like this. It kind of reminds me of that like mermaidy vibe um, and trend that was going on, which I'm kind of over it, but I mean, it's cute. Next in the back. Oh yes, we have the Hikari Hi Hi Cream Pigment in the shade uh, Shine. Shade shine and they're cruelty free, so that's good. There is the shade right here. It's just kind of like you know, a more yellowy golden, golden shade. Let's try it out. Ooh, it feels really nice. Oh, dang! It feels really nice. It doesn't really feel. I mean, it kind of feels creamy, but it's not like a cream cream. It's like a powdery cream. I don't know how to describe it. Let's go ahead and swatch this bad boy. One swipe. Oh, that was. Oh, even for a bad. <laughs> A bad swatch. Dang, that is pigmented. That is so buttery and creamy, holy crap. This is a swatch right here. Holy crap. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have an easy time, I feel like, putting this on my eyes today. Oh, this is not gonna come off. And I don't have a makeup wipe, so just gonna have to deal with it. There are two more things in our bag today. Okay, this is the Aurora lip gloss uh, in the shade Fairy, I think. And it's cruelty free. I'm not gonna swatch this till later on my lips because I just don't want that sticky mess on my hands because I don't have any makeup wipes with me right now. But this is just a nice, you know, pinky nude shade. Um, so we'll see how the consistency, consistency is. Ugh, cannot talk. And see um, how this looks on my lips later on. And then lastly, we have the I'm not sure if it's glossy, ooh, fuzz. I'm not sure if it's glossier or glossier, glossier or blah, 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 blah. I don't really know, but I think, yeah, anyways, I just know they're a high brand and this is 
Balm.com Universal Skin Salve. So it's like a little balm for your lips. So I will try this in a second. So that is it for the bag. Let's go on to the try on part of this video. So first I think I'm going to start with the eyes to pull this look together. Um, I also am going to be just using maybe a couple of transition shades from the Tartlet Toasted Palette just because I have it right here and it has a nice little good mirror going on down there so first i'm just going to take this morphe m441 brush dip it in to let's see here i'm just going to go in with cashmere it's just like a light peachy orange color it's been a while since i've used this brush honestly but you know i'm gonna bring it back i used to love it but then i had a different brush that i actually got from ipsy that i just um started using and i really love that one so you know, I just wanna switch back and forth and give all my brushes some love. Next I'm taking this shade Latte right here. Just using that shade for the like lower part of my crease um, to just give that a little more definition. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the cream pigment. I think I'm gonna see how it works with a brush first and then go in with my finger. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. Just taking this Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush in with the new shade. I know it said it's like a cream, so I'm not sure if using a brush is gonna work very well, but we shall see. All right, so I dipped in as much as I could. Let's just see. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that was not a good idea, but I just wanted to try it, see if it would work. Trusty old fingers, always there for you. All right, oh yeah, okay, much better. This is pretty, I like it kind of hard to transfer from your finger to your eye, but I mean, once it's there, it's really nice. Okay, not not the best, I guess I would say, not my favorite, but it worked all right. So now I'm gonna take the uh, shade Latte again and just go over those edges to try to soften it out a little bit. Next is taking the shade Simmer right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the outer corners of my eye to darken up the look a little bit better. Going ahead and taking that Luxie 239 brush that I was gonna use earlier. And I'm not uh, spraying my brush before because I don't want it too intense. I just wanna darken it up a little bit more. Taking a Vanity Planet smudging brush with that cashmere and latte and then just mixing those together. Putting that on my lower lash line close, really close to my Tight line. You also want to make sure that you connect to the upper shadows in the corner because you don't want a gap there. No one likes gaps. Taking the same brush, I'm just taking that simmer shade and popping that right in the outer corner. Okay, now that my hands are covered in shine, let's go on to the highlighter. So I really don't think this highlighter is going to really match that well with the eye look, but I wanted to use all the products that I got in the bag, so here we are. Taking that fan brush that we got, dipping into that highlighter. It's very powdery. Very, very powdery. A little, a little chunky, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. All right, let's see how this looks. Um, hello? Um, hello? Hello? Um, yeah, I barely see a shine. Like, do you see anything? Like, I see hardly anything there. Okay. Well, I definitely see it on the cupid's bow, because I had chapstick on, so it's sticking to my chapstick. It's very, very pink. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. I mean, it's subtle, but it's pretty, I guess. I'm just not all about the holographic look, I guess. Maybe on the eyes, but like... Uh, or if it was a different kind of holographic, like the pink, I'm just not a huge fan of because of my hair and my skin tone. So like, this is not my favorite and I don't think I'll ever use this again. Yeah, it's way too pink for me. It's pretty, but it's way too pink. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I was gonna use the highlight on my eyes, but um, it's way too pink. So I'm just gonna use um, the shade, where is it at? I'm just gonna use the shade Sunrise from the Tarlet Palette with a crease brush from the brand IBY Beauty. Next, taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. I haven't tried the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. Honestly, I'm not super like stoked about it. 
every one that I see wearing it, it just looks so clumpy and I'm not about that life. So I mean, I probably won't try it out. All right, so lastly, we have the Glossier or Glossier, however you want to say it, uh, lip balm. Oh my gosh, there's glitter everywhere on my hands. <laughs> just gonna squeeze, oh dang, it's just thick come out. I don't know if you can see that very well, but holy crap, this is th so thick. And it was really hard to get out. Dang. Oh. Ooh. That feels nice. Okay, so last is the Aurora lip gloss. Ooh. That's pretty. Usually I don't really go for like pink, pinky nudes or anything. I go more like a nude nude. Or, like a, maybe a peachy nude, but it's pretty. Pretty. I also think that it would be a lot thicker um, and more pigmented without that lip balm underneath, but I wanted to try them both out and see how it goes, so yes. All right, so that is it. These are the five products on my face, or four products with one brush. So for my review on all of these things, three of the products I was like okay with and the other two I liked, um, you could probably guess which ones. First for the cream uh, pigment eyeshadow. This was not my favorite. It swatched beautifully on my hand, but on the eye, I just had so much trouble with it, and I just, it was not easy to work with, so I would give this one a no. Next, for the highlighter, yeah, this one was definitely a no for me. In the pan, it just looks kind of like a creamy eyeshadow. It doesn't even look like it has holographic in it, but when you swatch it, it's like super pink, so that is just not my style, so I'd give this one a no. To go with that is the fan brush. I mean, it was okay. I just I just don't use these kind of brushes that often, so I just don't find it very useful for my collection. It is pretty though, I'll give it that. But then there's these two products that I actually did enjoy, which was the Glossier Lip Balm, or Balm.com, which I think is the cutest name ever. Um, and I love the packaging. It's super thick, so you hardly need any. I think I got way too much when I put it on my lips. So this will last a long time, even though it's like really small. And then lastly is the lip gloss. I did like this, and I think I would like it just by itself with no lip balm underneath. The color is okay, like it's fine. I mean, I'll wear it, but it's not like my typical um, color that I usually wear, but I do I do like this lip gloss. I think it's very, very nice and very pigmented and like a thicker gloss um, to cover up more, so. I give this one a yes as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Um, don't forget that notifications bell to get notified when I post new videos. I post at least once to three times a week. And I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.